You know, people ask me frequently why I call what I do with my um, feather work, why I call it carbon painting. Well, I, I approach it a little bit differently than just um, dragging a feather across or slapping it on there. And it's different than horsehair. Horsehair gives you fine lines, uh, kind of uncontrollable lines. And, and I like that look a lot. Um, I first was exposed to it up in Montana. So, you know, I can I can probably walk within five feet of the place that I first saw it. And went, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, but subsequently, you know, I've run into um, working with feathers rather than horsehair because I like the nice bold look. It's where I, where I feel most comfortable is in this bold kind of in your face kind of thing. But I call it uh, carbon painting because I'm actually manipulating what that carbon will look like as it's deposited on the pot. So rather than just um, putting the feather on it and going, ooh, that's cool, um, I'm actually manipulating where the smoke will go, what the smoke will attach to. So like in the case of this pot, right, the carbon has risen with the heat and deposited itself along the upper part of it. And knowing that this blue material is denser than the clay that it's on, the smoke does not attach that well to the blue, but it attaches really well to the white clay. And that leaves a bottom more of a clear color. The opposite of that would be to turn the pot upside down and let the smoke penetrate up here versus down on this edge. The edge becomes bright white. Each of the materials um, accepts the, the smoke at a different rate. Here's a, a piece of abara, and the abara is um, also carbon, so I'm carbonizing flour, right, burning it. And you can see this little line that's right here. That little line is created by the dense blue material, um, not accepting the abara, the same as the clay itself. So on the back, you get a completely different patterning effect because it doesn't have that blue to obscure the carbon. So it really is carbon painting versus just slapping it on there. Kind of cool.